वेलकम टू सिनेमा एक्सप्रेस द एंटरटेनमेंट डिवीजन ऑफ द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस थैंक यू या आई रिसेंटली सो व्यू हम योर डायरेक्टोरियल रिव्यू अगेन आफ्टर मेनी इयर्स द फर्स्ट टाइम आई पॉइंट व्हेन आई वाज अ किड सो इट स्टिल रिमेंस अ वेरी इफेक्टिव फिल्म आफ्टर ऑल दीस इयर्स and uh, among the many uh, striking qualities of that film uh, the most prominent is of course the casting of uh, raghuran <laughs> and uh, that is uh, he is someone that most directors i think at that time wouldn't have thought of casting for an action hero uh, role um what made you think that uh, he would be the right choice no first of all you see i uh, there was uh, i think uh, he had just finished that maniratnam's film Mm. with anjali it mm. you know yeah. he was basically a, he used to be seen a, as a villain no yeah yeah and there was this film called anjali where he used to play the he was the father of the child i think and he did a very interesting performance actually uh, uh, in that film yeah about when we were planning our first film see yeah. it was very clear that we needed to f- do a film without the you know without see it's very difficult to get the superstars at that time no yeah because it's a made in film so you need to grow you need to make a mark and then approach the bigger actors otherwise it's going to be in an inordinate wait yeah so you have to prove you have to have your credentials in place right yeah so uh, when this uh, when we saw regu what happened was you see he's a very unpredictable person you know he's very, yeah. he's very edgy yeah sometimes he'll be very smooth and suddenly he'll just turn over so <laughs> he was like that okay he also so, in real life for that yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. And he's a very smart. I'm a very sharp person. Yeah. So basically, we said, okay, he might be the right for the role. We were mm. not casting for a star. Mm. We were casting for the role that this guy has to not talk much. Yeah. But uh, you know, I get that little uh, edgy performance. You know? So right. that is how we we thought. Okay, let's uh, go try uh, <laughs> Regu. In fact, Regu was the first choice actually. Oh, really? We didn't go to anyone else. Yeah, no, no, we didn't go to anyone else. We went first to Regu. I remember we told him the story and he said okay and okay. he remembers everything you know once you tell the story he said okay chalo let's do it oh okay cool so i mean so uh, if you were doing your first film today would you have gone with the same approach or would you have tried someone uh, a bit stuff? you see what happens no see when it's a made in film yeah. you're made in film it's always best this is this is the advice my brother gave me so is it always better hmm. that you do a film where your credentials are Uh, established yeah now if you have a superstar for example mm. uh, then 90% of the credit goes to the star no ah, right right he had he had x in the film therefore yeah that film is a success so where is where do you stand so you you need to set the thing no mm. so i thought that is why we didn't want to go to any major star at that point for the first film to yeah. make an uh, to make a mark without that yeah so that Uh, everyone takes note of the director and then the call should come and that's exactly how it happened there yeah. that's exactly how it happened to me i mean yes yeah. so it helped that the film did well right? <laughs> the film did not do well so it's it's again it's a, it's a, it's a it's a thing of you know trying to understand and you know, there are these uh, risks that you take na yeah so ultimately i think when you take make your first film i think more than anything else it should be the the style the rust see at that point of time i don't think malayalam cinema had a action action film yeah right so you have to look at all the aspects so i said okay let's do an action action film mm. which is very uh, you know very hollywoodish yeah see, yeah that's what yeah my, my my see my i have never assisted anyone on a on a set or anything it just what i have learned is all through uh, watching films yeah that, that's my education so and most of the films Uh, I was very English, film. so naturally there's a lot of that that comes into your uh, your stories also. Yeah. So, uh, so we wanted to make it very stylized. No songs that time. There were no mm. songs. Mm. We just wanted to make it, and and actually the best part of it was we never thought there would be humor in it. Mm. But yeah. But in the theater, though, when you see the interaction between uh, Suvarnathan and uh, <laughs> right, right. Regular, yeah. because of the opposite nature of the characters. the yeah. humor came in because of that yeah, which yeah. was a surprise for me as a first film i said hey but it just shows that how well both of them played their parts that you know <laughs> yeah. the moment the, there was a dialogue where he says i have to meet him <laughs> and there was laughter in the theater because that that had somehow worked yeah 
because it almost had the look of like a Clint Eastwood, the old Clint Eastwood films, like you know the yeah, yeah, Andy, yeah, yeah. Andy, the Andy, yeah. yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, looking back now, I feel like uh, Yuham and uh, Nirnayam and even the Aravind Swami film Daddy, uh, they hmm. they feel like a trilogy to me because they have this common thread of a uh, protagonist being tormented by the loss of uh, a close. Yeah, yeah, yeah someone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did yeah, you see yeah, that yeah. way or? Uh, I mean, because mm, they, they, not necessarily. No, I did not see it like. See, actually, for every film, there was a. See, View Home was. I said, okay, uh, no songs. Let's mm. make it a, a crisp action thriller, which which we felt wasn't there in Malayalam that much. Yeah. Only Joshi Atten used to make those, you know, those stylish uh, thrillers. Yeah. But there were more. Uh, uh, see, we didn't see like this uh, film didn't have too much dialogue for it. Yeah, so yeah. those kind. Of, it was more visual uh, kind of a film than. Uh, most other films that were being made at that time. Right. Yeah. So the next film I wanted to do something on martial arts because martial arts was something that we uh, we I mean, the six chamber of Shaolin <laughs> was our biggest inspiration at that time. Yeah. You know, and then we always felt, what if because we have such a big tradition of color pipe and all in this, why don't we do something uh, based on a martial art? Now martial yeah. art. Uh, uh, that Ch- 36 Chamber of Shaolin was our main, main, main inspiration. We, asked, we should make something like this, which at yeah. that point was different. Yeah. So then we found out, okay, where is the best place to go? Then we went to, we were told it is Nepal. So we didn't have a story. We just went to Nepal. <laughs> just generally. Oh. We went to Nepal and uh, there we found out that, okay, there was this uh, custom in place that there was a lady, a small girl who was, you know, treated as a uh, queen till, I mean, I mean, Till she menstruates, and mm. she's she's a queen, she's a king, she's given everything. Yeah. So that was how it was there. Then there was this whole thing about bokshas. They're real. I mean, the bokshas they they practice black magic and they don't want goodness to thrive in this world. And mm. All that we gleaned from there, mm. and then we changed that whole uh, female thing to a male boy, oh, and okay. changed the Hindu Hindu thing to a Buddhist thing because, I, like I said, it had to go <laughs> into the uh, Chamber of Shaolin's time. Yeah. So that's how it was changed. Then the story was made around. Yeah. And the idea was that a simple man, mm. simple man, I mean, mm. who's got intrinsic natural talents. Yeah. Which in our case was Kalari. <laughs> uh, and he goes to a foreign place mm. and becomes a hero. Yeah. This was the basic thought. So Lalsa's character was just that. So we only had Lalsa's idea. <laughs> uh, only his track we knew that he had to come from here to there. Yeah. And become a hero. This oh, okay. was the story. Uh. Now, how it later changed to so see, I, actually speaking, you know, in the whole film about you, the, the fun thing is that in the beginning five minutes, you know the story. Yeah. You <laughs> know that uh, a hero is going to come from Kerala, uh, from Kerala and save this set. But yeah. the, how it was done, I think that made the, I mean, you had great actors and because that was the first time I'm, you know, I was uh, working with Lars sir. Yeah. So that was that in itself was so scary. And sometimes you know when you when you sit and work out with Lal sir, you, know, the, mm. you don't think there's acting happening. Mm. So then you you are a little worried. Is he acting or what? I mean, <laughs> it's too real. Right. So right. those are things which which scare you. You know because at the first, see now once you start working with him, then you know okay this is his uh, greatness and his style. Mm. But for the first time, I also was wondering. I think there was a scene where he was with a small child. Yeah. Uh, and they were eating that umia pam and umia putan and all that. No, you were saying no. Mm. I mean, it was so so real. I mean, it was difficult to make to uh, for me to believe that there was <laughs> acting happening. Wow. So mm. I mean, then of course then then was there. Yeah. He's another another one of those So all of see, I always believe that film making is mm. never a one man's job. Actually. Yeah, it's a collective. It is a result of a, it's, it's a very very collective effort. There's so much of uh, a contribution coming from every side, mm. and that makes it a film. It's mm. just the thought that you bring in, which is new. Mm. But I think the uh, thought has to be. New. Yeah, no, without Mohanlal, I don't think you could have made that. No, without Mohanlal, the film would not have been made. See what <laughs> happened. You no, know, when 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 we have a film, yeah, see we didn't have a story. Mm. Okay, so you go straight to Lal sir and say, Lal sir, this is the idea. Okay. Mm. Now he says, I'm with you. He was the only one who stood by us to thick and thin. Mm. He said, you get the story. Now I am not a writer. So I will need to find a writer to write this. Yeah. That was the most difficult part. We are not getting. 
Mm. Everyone, I, I, to people whom I met and spoken to, they said, "What Buddha story? What is all this? How will anyone <laughs> understand?" So, it was a major disappointment that you know we couldn't get someone to see it the way we thought. That was very difficult to get the right writer. I see. And I think ultimately, I think uh, there was a time when I met uh, Manidatnam at that time. Mm. Uh, so, so Mani <laughs> told us. I am also not a writer, but then sometimes you know when you have an idea, and then you will not be the way you think the writer will not be. Mm. He says, yeah. so he used to have the small paper and the pencil, and he he showed me how he used to do his stuff. He was not a writer basically, but he said because I was not getting, I used to do my stuff and then get help. Yeah, that was what he uh, actually told me. He said, yeah. I, you should try that then. Mm. So you know, we sat down and basically it was th- three friends: me, my brother Santosh was there throughout, and then there was a friend of ours, of ours called Alex, mm. who was from National School of Drama. Okay. So we three sat down and scribbled, mm. scribbled things like, okay, <laughs> yeah, first this will happen, this will happen, like that. Okay. So we had a story of what happens in Nepal. Mm. Nepal ka story we had, and then there was no Kerala story. So the Kerala without a Kerala story, how do I go to Nepal? I mean, you need to <laughs> understand and feel for the characters. So yeah, that was yeah. important. Yeah. So we were not getting in the real uh, in I mean Kerala story. That is when my uh, Sashidra Naratoi, mm. he is basically my dad's uh, friend also. So he had come down for something else, nothing to do with my film or anything. He had come. Mm. So while talking, I told Sashidra the small story that I am getting stuck with. Uh-huh. So he asked me, "What is the story all about?" So whatever I had of uh, Nepal, I told him. Okay. So he said, "Yeah, it sounds interesting. You give me a week." Uh-huh. So I said, "Okay." So mm. a week later, mm. he comes up with this whole uh, setting of Kerala oh. about these two, yeah, yeah, so the two cousins, and then he brought in the elements which are, which is which is the uh, see which the audience identify. The, see the big thing about the other today. Today I was seeing one, one troll. Which is made on uh, made on Yoda, where <laughs> it talks about what not to do in COVID times. Oh, okay. <laughs> and 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 the, and the things are from there. So for almost any uh, you know thing that is required in Kerala, this serves as a you know as a perfect uh, foil for all meme artists. You know, I mean, they which are all, not as yeah. funny because mm. because it, you know, whether it's a Rahul Gandhi or someone else, that also will come there. So for for anything, I mean, I mean, and and, and whenever this uh, film happens in some some see, TV or something, I immediately get a call. Sir, I am watching Yoda for the 80th time, for the hundredth time. So which is see at that point of time when we did that, we had no idea, you know, that this is going to become a cult film or anything like that. We just made a film, yeah, just because we wanted to do something different. Yeah. So anything that was off the beaten track, mm-hmm. then also even today, yeah. it holds true. That anything not typically uh, what we see, and mm. if you can bring in something different, yeah, uh, yeah, it gets appreciated. If not, then yeah. maybe twenty years down the down, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, down the lane. Yeah. So speaking speaking of doing something different, uh, you and Santosh sir, uh, what you guys did with those films? Uh, I mean, you know, in terms of visuals, the use of expressionistic, you know, colors and uh, lighting and all that. Uh, did you guys? meet with any kind of opposition because you know you were doing something unconventional uh, for a uh, like uh, uh, cinema but i think uh, see like uh, i said hmm. no, no, yoda no, no, no. would not have happened yeah if lal sir had not said yes that's yeah. be very simple yeah now when you have lal sir saying yes then you have producers you have people yeah because not that they believe in uh, me or anything but they believe in the actor no, if the yeah. actor has said yes and it was superstar and lal sir that time Yeah. So naturally, it becomes uh, easy uh, for any director or anyone to get through. Then the remaining thing is up to you. Oh, okay. See the 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 fillip will be given by the actor saying yes. So for me, I was lucky. I was very lucky that uh, also. Hmm. Uh, I mean, that was my first uh, ever narration to him, and you know, and, and and I didn't have a big story to tell him at that point. Ah. Uh. Okay. And that I, I didn't have. It just slowly, slowly, slowly. So every time he used to say, "And I, Kala." I didn't find the writer, so I was no 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 kada only. Yeah. So in fact, he suggested a lot of writers. He said, "Go to him, go to him." In fact, because of him, I went to two three other people. 
Mm. Ultimately, I think you know the last thing was um, I have gone to meet Damodar Master. Oh, oh, oh. No, because Damodar Master was an action, and I think Lalsar was doing something with him. And so mm. I knew Damodar Master in a very uh, personally also I knew. So I went to him, and then he gave me a, a, a one line which mm. was so much different from what I had envisaged and thought of mm. that you know in the moment he saw my face, he said, "Hindu bhi thi so he said, I said, this is not what I thought of. <laughs> so he said, okay, then tell me what, what, how did you conceive it? So I told him a basic idea. Hmm. And he looked at me and said, sir, if I, if I have narrated you night, hmm. you have narrated me day. So this will never happen. <laughs> this will not match. It is yeah. better that he also suggested that, you know, try hmm. to do whatever you can yourself. I mean, hmm. with hmm. Otherwise, this is not going to happen because this is not a typical writer writer story. Because yeah. we have actually got transitions, right? Okay, from here we we go to Nepal, from Nepal we come down. So there are all lot of visual transitions, which, transitions which we had already yeah. uh, worked out. So yeah. we are very specific. No, we want this. Mm. That we will not, uh, you know, compromise. <laughs> so we needed to. Uh, we are lucky in a lot of ways. I mean, like I said, these things happen. Yeah, so for all that the technical... Yeah, the, no, Sashidharan are not worry. If he had not come, I don't know. Mm. Maybe we would have been still not getting a story. Yeah. We had a story, but the Kerala story would not be as interesting as, you know, mm. as the... Uh, because there are a lot of people who told me that is the section which, uh, which made the identification very, very easy. Oh, okay, yeah. And of course, without uh, Jagadish sir, that, that's... Uh... No, no, see Jagadish sir and their, their combination... Yeah. Then the Roman, see that time also Roman was not Roman that we know of, you know. So yeah. it, again, he brought in his uh, songs, his background score. Yeah. Even today, I think it, it it is one of the most brilliantly done background scores. Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was there. So then you have uh, Sri Nani, Sri Prasad, the editor. So yeah. it was a coming together of a lot of people who had who luckily mm. shared the vision, you know. So. Yeah. I mean, it's impossible so to I, think of uh, a sequel uh, without, I mean, all these actors coming together. Uh, there are two things to it, you see. Mm. It's not that we did not think of a sequel, and actually everyone, but I, but I don't want to get into a sequel yeah. uh, just for the sake of doing this. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. So I need to, if, if, if at any point I come across an idea which, should, ah, wow, this mm. excites me mm. that, you know, that, okay, possibly mm. yeah. we can do it. Yeah. Then yes. Mm. Otherwise, you know, it's, now the current thing is okay. Anything that has been successful, you take it. <laughs> uh, which I don't go into that. Thing, if if at all, like I said, always if we get something which we are inspired, and, you know, which because I know all these people are available for me. That's the only good thing, including yeah. Rama. Yeah. So this, he said, whenever you're doing, please let me know. <laughs> so I know, but I don't want to go to any of them till. Mm. See that time when I told the story, mm. they were all. Uh, Inspired mm. everyone, yeah. Ah, oh, wow, we should do something, we should do something. So, there was a sense of excitement that I could instill in mm. my collaborators, mm. whether it is artists, whether it is uh, you know, technicians. So, there was a, a thing that all of us felt that ah, oh, we are doing something mm. unique, yeah, different. Yeah. So, the same thing, if I cannot bring in, then what's the point? Yeah, yeah, so right. I'm still waiting for the right uh, maybe the story mm -hmm. comes, yeah. How did uh, Sandosh sir push you as a filmmaker? I mean, oh, he, I wasn't a, going to be a filmmaker if, <laughs> if not for him. Yeah. Uh, see, for me, that is very clear. See, my dad is a film filmmaker. So mm. basically, I was a more a academic person. Mm. You know, I was, mm. So I was, I had finished my BCom, finished my MCom. At that point in time, I was also a very important sportsman. I should represent mm. the state and the university for both hockey and cricket. So I was into that space. Mm. I did quite well in my academics and all that. Mm. There was a crucial time in my life when I had uh, passed the uh, SBI officer's exam. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. And I was supposed to go and join somewhere in Rajasthan. That was my SBI posting for the first time. And that, go Achha, so it, during this time, I was always interested in films. Mm. I used to watch films very regularly, mm. but and make notes and all that. 
but without any idea that i am going to you know be a filmmaker that was never my it was never there in my head hmm. although i helped my dad in his she uh, used to make a lot of documentaries at that time hmm. my dad for yeah. film division so all the research work and all that i used to do yeah basically but that was my connection with films as in i would see a lot of films i used to uh, help dad write these uh, scripts in english for documentaries that time hmm. other than that no i was okay. more uh, so i was going to go there when dad actually got a film hmm. a documentary film to be done uh, in arunachal pradesh okay that time arunachal was a i mean a god for the king's place <laughs> there we we, we were uh, in fact it was a protected area no it okay. was uh, yeah. not a state it was not a state it was a union territory i think so the film was given by uh, i think vivek and the king mm. uh, the, they had schools there in arunachal at that time Mm. so they wanted to make a small uh, documentary on those schools mm. okay so yeah. that said yeah because that was going yeah santosh i think was doing his first year uh, film institute he had not uh, completed he had just joined or some first mm. year i think yeah i see so basically everything was fixed they were supposed to go mm. to arunachal i was supposed to go to uh, rajasthan for mm. the interview yeah at that point santosh lands in from pune Oh, okay. For the shooting, mm. so he asked me, "Hello, so what?" He said, "I'm going." He said, "You're going for a nine to five job." I said, "Nine to five job? What job? I mean, I have to, I have to finish this. No, this is my." So yeah. he said, uh, "Why don't you we go together and make this film?" Okay. Mm. So I okay. thought about it. For me, it was exciting. I didn't want to go to Rajasthan. Basically, that was not a great idea for me. But my mother. Poor soul, she wanted the eldest family some <laughs> nice job, marriage because that time also filmmakers and all had no demand actually. So yeah, yeah. Uh, other than my mother, my father was secretly happy, but uh, my father never wanted. I mean, he never told us that oh, you have to, you know, whether, because you know my my house was full of cameras, as in, but he <laughs> never said okay, this is aperture, this is no. He never told us. If you're interested, you would do experiment and then you can ask him. Yeah. How do we do? But he never used to tell us, "Oh, this is what has to be." He's generally given us a lot of freedom. Oh. For a person like that at that time, mm. you could do anything. I mean, when Santosh comes and says, "I want to go to the institute," okay, go to the institute. <laughs> There was no uh, see and see for me and for him definitely. We never thought it was a great thing. But yeah. when we tell the story to a third person, mm. I still remember one day when we were talking to Rajiv Kumar, I think, who's the director of Malayalam. Mm. Mm. So Rajiv said, "If I told my father and mother that I was going to Philippines, they would have blocked me." But uh, we we never had that uh, opposition. We were we, we, he was very open to yeah, the yeah. idea. He said, "Go." <laughs> so he was secretly happy that I wasn't going <laughs> the <laughs> the bank way. Yeah. So that see, the thing was that um, even when uh, we were at home, we used to have a small outdoor unit. Mm. Dad, so that had those film cameras, mm. so that used to go for hire. Okay. So me and Santosh both, we used to be quite aware of all these things. Like you know, I could load the camera, yeah. so that in case my camera assistant doesn't come, I used to take the camera and go yeah. as the attendant. That time. So yeah. I, I think Jayden's Jayden Vincent's first film, I was there as the as the sound recorder, I think. So like that, we we used to go like if there's some problem with the uh, camera assistant, then I would take the camera and go. Or if there was no one with the sound, I should take the Nagra and go with the sound. Basically, we were uh, went clued into those things. So Santosh also knew. So he said, "You come at least, you can be part of it, and even the sound you can look after, no? Which I've been looking up. So I said, okay, chalo. And that started my journey actually. Mm. Once I went into Arunachal and saw the scope. of what could be done then documentaries became my bread and butter mm. I, i finished arunachal and came back and then we i don't know how many i did a lot of stuff for uh, unicef mm. your health documentaries and all and i used to have this uh, mentor uh, called dr soman mm. cr soman who was with uh, who was mm. the nutrition chief in and dr soman mm. so with him i did quite a lot of work Mm. So I was quite happy, and then from there slowly I moved into ads. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that much was okay. Mm. 
I was then beyond that feature film. I never thought <laughs> till one day Santosh asked me, "Are you? Why are you not uh, doing a feature film? I have never assisted anyone. What will I know feature film?" And then yes. he said something which is very funny. Yeah. He said, "The biggest advantage that you have is that you are not assisted anyone." Oh yeah, right. He said, "Then you can do what you want to do. Hmm. Don't let's not uh, you know." So that actually triggered something. And he said, "You write a story. Hmm. Baki you leave to me." Mm-hmm. But by the time we had done two, three films in Malayalam, also he was getting on. Yeah. So basically, with my upbringing, mm-hmm. uh, my thing was very English. So mm-hmm. I was looking for a writer who can, you know, <laughs> be, <laughs> be like me. Yeah. And uh, then we came across Saab John. Yeah. So Saab John at that time had done something for with Tamil Asin and Rajiv. <laughs> he was one of those, uh, you know. Chanakin, yeah. And uh, then we met. I found. Exactly, it's, it's absolutely fine. Me and Sab John were like, <laughs> we had the same interest and all that, and uh, we wrote the first uh, thing, the first draft of you, uh, Sab John. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It was very funny, and uh, <laughs> that happened, and then I went and narrated it to. So when Sadhush came, he said, "Okay, do you have a story?" I said, "Yeah, this is a story." And he said, "Fine, great." Mm. So he put me on to Saga Films. He didn't yeah. go there. Yeah. So the first time, see, the thing is, I don't know how these things work. The first time I'm supposed to go to Chennai, mm. meet up with these uh, the producers and narrate a story. Yeah. And I go to Pram Guru. I have there. So these producers are three. Mm. We were Saga mm. Films. No, so mm. there was like three horses, you know. <laughs> so there were three of them: Shernoy, uh, Apachan, yeah. and Anthony. And they were like, I mean, they were very intimidating. No, because you see, you go and narrate a story. First time, and suddenly you have three people looking at you. Okay, is this guy working? <laughs> so that was fun. So we, we, I narrated the idea. Yeah. I thought it was the worst narration I've ever done, and I, <laughs> I said see. this is not going to happen. Uh, but then there was this uh, man uh, called uh, Menon Jetan Menon, who was their manager. Okay, Mr. Menon, uh, who later on was the manager of uh, Lalsa's company also, Pranav. Oh, oh, oh. He's called Pranav Menon. Yeah, yeah, yeah Menon Chetan. Yeah. So Menon Chetan was there. He saw something. I don't know what he saw, but he he thought there was something in the thing. And he told me, "Don't worry, mm-hmm. I think it will happen." Okay. So I think uh, that's how view him happened. Happened, mm-hmm. and then, mm-hmm. like I said, you know, the first day of the shoot, also all these three people are there waiting. Mm-hmm. First shot. Mm-hmm. How does this guy <laughs> direct now? Yeah. So uh, I, when I met. Uh, Regu, I told Regu, Regu, you are different. You will never do things normally. Mm-hmm. I told him as a character brief. I had given him this brief that you know you need to be different. Yeah. He said, okay. So the first scene was like that. You know those the two doors are there yeah. in yeah. the police stations which yeah. you open and come. Yeah. So we are out this side, mm. inside the room with the camera, everything set, and he is supposed to come in and meet Suvarn. Mm. That was the scene. So we said okay ready everything was done mm-hmm. and we said action and this guy comes and kicks the bloody door <laughs> he he doesn't open he just kicks it and the two doors go fly <laughs> on two sides <laughs> and for a moment everything was like what, what the hell did we see just now <laughs> they did and then slowly i went up to regu and said regu this is how how do you get into a superior's office by kicking the door So he said, but you said it. He has to be different. If I open it, how does it become different? <laughs> so we used to have this uh, constant uh, bickering. Okay. But that's what you can never forget because it was such a you know, your blood froze. <laughs> how did first time and all these people watching how we are going to complete the film and you need to yeah uh, go and tell up to this. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he was a wonderful person. I mean, I, he was a. Maverick, you know, he, mm. he 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 can do things. See, it's like two ways, you know. Like you know, with a yeah. with an actor like Subaratan, you know, this scene is safe with him. Mm. He, he might not take you to a brilliant level, but you can be assured that he'll be a whatever is required will be there. Yeah, that's yeah. how Subaratan is. Right. With this man, very difficult. <laughs> he can either take it to another level yeah. or bring it to the bottom level. So <laughs> very difficult. <laughs> very difficult to see what he's going to bring to the table very unpredictable right yeah very unpredictable yeah, yeah. but that worked very well for that character because he was also very unpredictable yeah a bit eccentric you know, so, uh, kind of yeah ex- so like i said luckily mm. it it just fitted in with the character mm. anyway thank you so much for this uh, yes yes sir